finished first session at podium gym in Kofanyan. It's pretty good. It was just a bodybuilding gym, so with that, you've kind of got to make the best out of a bad situation, just do what you can do. It turned out to be a pretty good session, so I'm happy with that. We haven't done a great deal today, this morning, and we kind of had a really slow morning. Josh went and trained, and I just kind of chilled in the kind of restaurant and did some blogging and some YouTube stuff. It was kind of like an us morning, but separate, which was quite nice. Yeah, it was nice to get rid of it, to be honest, she does my head in. Going to Amsterdam Bar to watch the sunset, because we haven't really caught the sunset, have we? No, because it happens so quickly, yeah. it's really easy to miss. So, we're going to do that. That makes all the difference because it's a bit weird needing to sit on the toilet while you get a shower. Did you find the cabaret show last night? It was good. It was good fun. It was uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. One of us trained, one of us was feeling the poo poo, so didn't train, she chilled there and fell asleep on bean bag. But it was really cool to see CrossFit cut out. It was a tiny little box with minimal equipment, but like you could tell it was a really cool gym. It had like prism bars on and stuff, it was grungy as I loved it. in the ocean. <laughs> we get to see five different dive sites where they're fitting and hopefully we'll see some sharks and turtles. Binocolin and Ochin, seen loads of Nemo's, Dory's, 
and stuff. It's cute. This is like stop one of five. Um, it's like a little island to sort of sort out. Um, we're doing quite a lot to kind of preserve the beach here, so no plastics or anything are allowed. Everything's like sort of glass bottles, which is great. The sea is just like crystal clear, and yeah, I'm fishing out. from snorkeling now and we only ended up going to four points because twice we couldn't go any further because the sea was proper choppy on it. Proper. It was actually really scary. For, for some, I quite enjoyed it, it was good fun. No, it was like the first time in two years he's had to turn around because the sea was that bad and I was like, Ugh. It was It was ridiculous though, like the waves were coming into the, the boat and all that kind of stuff. But. It was an experience. Yeah, it was good. I mean, that meant that we couldn't go to Shark Bay and couldn't see the sharks. <laughs> and apparently there was a turtle, but I couldn't see it. But we've seen lots of fish. The, uh, it was really, it was cool, that's fair. I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. And now we're going out for date night. We're going on a little adventure day today. We're going to hike up to um, Love Cortel, the new point up there and then head over to kind of the dock side of the island kind of have a little explore around there, maybe have a little shop get some new bits and bobs because it's getting boring wearing the same things, I want some new things <laughs> No, it's just really hot yeah. and all the stuff we've bought in England is too thick Yeah, pretty much, we need thinner clothes <laughs> That was quite difficult. That was the most physically and mentally draining thing. So when the gym's closed and you don't have much options for a workout, you can climb all the way up there instead. And it makes for a pretty good workout. barbed wire just there was nothing like i think it was an old trekking trail or trek like that can't have been used for a decade no because there was we passed the signs there like it's all down over here and there was there was it wasn't rude because it was trodden yeah pieces of stuff it was horrible like for, i mean we're just wearing our metcons and you know you if you were going to do that you'd need like proper gear on like it was just rough, but then we were, it was in for the penny, in for the pound sort of job. So we just had to keep going. Like there was no, it got to the point where it got worse, but there was no going back. When we came out, we had to literally like jump down onto the side of the road, like, but we've got a beer. And we just booked our Sunday lunch later with the octopus. How was that? I was super homesick this morning, I was in tears. But Sunday dinners, we actually put in, so it just made all our right. This is our last night on Kotao and our last night on the Thai Islands. Um, so this is the finale to the Thai Islands vlog. Z um, we, <laughs> we've loved the islands, haven't we? It's been very nice. 
Um, what's your favourite one? Uh, this one, Kotao, yeah. is legit. It's beautiful. It's chill. It's people playing with fire. It's people playing with fire. <laughs> yeah, the fire show was class. It was free as well, so we like we left a tip and got some drinks and it was That's awesome. Really nice words when Next up is Huahin. Huahin. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And the, for three nights, and then we have one night in Bangkok before we fly to Cambodia. Goodbye. Like, comment, subscribe, because it, it does help. I know people say that it reaches out. So comment even, just like, what else I'm saying. Goodbye.